welcome back to the solutions manual in this video we will solve the problem 2-72 from rcg ballet engineering statics 12th edition according to this problem if the resultant force acting on the hook is that is given to us determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of force f so to solve this problem let us write each force into its components so for the resultant force I have negative 200 I plus 800 J plus 150 K LBs. For force F, now I can write the components of force F by considering their coordinate direction angles. So for the I component, I have F cos alpha. Then I have F cos beta J plus F cos gamma K in LB. Now for the force F1, I can draw the projection of force F1 on the X and Y plane like this. Let's call this right ang this angle right here as theta. I can write this projection as f1 cos theta. Now this projection has two components, one along the x-axis and another one along the y-axis. So let us break it down. So this is the component along the x-axis. And that is the component along the y axis. Let's label them. This right here is F1 cos theta cos 30 degrees, and that one is F1 cos theta sin 30 degrees. Now F1 force has a third component that is directed in the negative sense of the Z axis which means downward. This is the third component and that component is F1 sin theta. Now we have to find the angle theta. So for theta we can consider this 3, 4, 5 triangle. So tan theta is equals to 3 upon 4. So from here theta is equals to 36.87 degrees. Now force F1 could be written as F1 which is 600, 600 cos theta which is 36.87. into sin 30 i plus 600 cos 36.87 cos 30 j minus 600 sin theta which means 36.87 degrees K. Now F1 simplifies to 240i plus 415.7j minus 360k. Now we know that resultant force is the sum of Resultant force is the sum of F and F1. So from here we have
negative 200 i plus 800 j plus 150 k is equals to f which is f cos theta plus f cos theta plus f cos gamma j sorry gamma k plus the F1 force which is 240i plus 415.7j minus 360k. Now we are going to compare the components. So by comparing i, j and k components we have negative 200 is equals to f cos alpha plus 240 now from here f cos alpha becomes negative 440 let's call this equation 1 now if we compare the j component we have 800 is equals to f cos theta plus 415.7 so from here cos theta becomes 384.3 let's call this equation 2 now if we compare the k component then it becomes 150 is equals to f cos gamma minus 360 so f cos gamma becomes 510 let's call this equation 3 so now let's square on both sides of equation 1, 2 and 3 and add them together so it becomes f cos alpha square plus f cos theta square plus f cos gamma square is equals to negative 440 square plus 384.3 square plus 510 square then it becomes then it becomes f square cos square alpha plus f square cos square beta plus f square cos square gamma is equals to 601390 now if i take out f square common then it becomes cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equals to 601390 let's call this equation a so now cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equals to 1 so equation a becomes f square is equals to 601390 and if you take the square root on both sides then f comes out to be 7 75.49 lbs this is our first answer now we have to find the coordinate direction angles for this we can consider our equation 1 2 and 3 these equations
now let us put this f value in our equations 1 2 and 3 so consider equation 1 and f is equals to 775.49 lps then from this equation cos alpha is equals to negative 440 divided by 775.49 and alpha is equals to 124.57 degrees now consider equation 2 this equation so cos theta is equals to 384.3 divided by 775.49 and beta comes out to be 60.29 degrees and if we consider equation 3 then cos gamma is equals to 510 divided by f that is 775.49 so from here gamma comes out to be 48.88 degrees this is our second answer these are the coordinate direction angles of force f i hope you will find this video helpful if you do please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates and if you have any question or any doubt about this problem then you can ask it in the comment section and i will answer it as soon as possible thank you